At midnight last night, for the first time in 17 years, the Republicans in Congress chose to shut down the federal government. We have a matter of days, but hours left to prevent our government from shutting down. No one's shutting down the government except the president. Stop trying to force a government shutdown. It's time for the Senate to listen to the American people. This Republican shutdown did not have to happen. But I want every American to understand why it did happen. That's what this fight's all about. I talked to the president earlier tonight. I'm not going to negotiate. The proof is watching the House Republicans because they've lost their minds. Clearly, uh, the Senate has demonstrated that it is not uh, willing to engage in the legislative process. This is their way of saying we are going to have a new order here. They've shut down the government over an ideological crusade to deny affordable health insurance to millions of Americans. In other words, they demanded ransom just for doing their job. Well, I would say to the president, this is not about me. And it's not about Republicans here in Congress. It's about fairness for the American people. And welcome to Hannity. It is day one of the Obama-Reed government shutdown, and at this hour, there appears to be no end in sight. Democrats are refusing to negotiate with any Republican, and so tonight we have assembled a live studio audience made up of pundits and pollsters from both sides of the aisle. We have financial experts and much more to weigh in on the latest developments in Washington. But before, before we bring them in, there is another story we need to tell you about. Today is also day one of the Obamacare president exchange disaster. That is his health care plan, in particular, now the health care system and the health insurance exchanges that the administration now has had three years to plan for this day, and they could not have launched it in a worse way. Now, our friends over at National Review Online have come up with a list of 100, quote, unintended consequences related to the legislation throughout the hour. Check the bottom of your screen, sort of below me, and it will display what they've come up with, and you'll learn a lot about the health care law. Now, let's turn things over to our studio audience. Day one Obamacare, okay. Oh, Jamu's happy. What a shock. All right. All right. Who thinks this is a good thing for the country? Hands up. All right. Joe Trippy, shocker. Um, who thinks that after three years, it is an embarrassment the way it was launched today with all the glitches? Joe Trippy. What now? <laughs> is it not an embarrassment? I mean, no. it, every state had a glitch. You, every, you couldn't even get on this thing. No, you, no. I mean, look, it's going to have glitches. No, there's been no launch of any uh, any new tech or anything that hasn't had glitches on the first day. It's going to do that. This they have six months. People have six months. And by the way, it's only a small um, number of Americans, actually 30 million, that are going to be going to these exchanges. It's not everybody. 85 percent of people are not going to who get health insurance already will stay on their plans all right let's by the way that's not let's true. see that's who not blames true. He, what he said is not true Go ahead. because what's going to happen you know this is that employers that are providing health coverage that people like right now are going to drop their coverage joe and they're going to dump people in these obama all 85 percent everybody well, mil, not all of them well but and remember, million Americans the are gonna president be said if you street, like your health care plan you get to keep dumped. it and a lot of people aren't going to be dumped but Wait, he right? said, if you liked your health plan, you could compete. Is that just another lie, or should he said 85% could keep it? No, no. 15% don't. 30 million Americans don't have health insurance. Oh, this they're the number. ones. Okay. They're the ones that are going to be going to the exchanges. And by the way, you're paying for all of them always right now. If that was your health care on day one and you no, no. needed health care and didn't no. get this it, is, is that a glitch? about the Americans oh, who are uninsured. And right. talking about companies, let's just give a round of applause to Walmart, who has embraced this law and moved 35,000 of their workers from part time to full time status. All right. Because unlike Congress, Hang on. who understands that. Obamacare is actually going to insure Before we the get into the health care law, Walmart. and we're going to get back to this, I promise, both of you and Jedediah, I know you want to weigh in. Here's what the Republicans did. First, they said they were going to defund. Then they said they were going to delay. They send the bills over to the Senate. Then they were going to eliminate special exemptions. And then they said, let's go to conference. The president said, I shouldn't have to offer anything. Harry Reid won't talk to them. Does that make the Democrats responsible for this shutdown? Show of hands. How many say no? Doug Schoen, what? Well, if the Republicans offer to defund, delay, eliminate uh, exemptions, and then go to conference, how is it not? How, they're, they're funding the government in every other regard. How is it their fault? It is their fault because the law 
is the law of the land. It was passed. And the way our system works is laws are put into place. You want to fight, you fight at the ballot box. Sean, the Democrats have basically won this fight despite the fact that Obamacare is unpopular. I'm here to say that with two-thirds of the American people unhappy with Obamacare, the shutdown is the only way the Democrats now have a 10 percent lead in the generic you know, I vote. Keep hearing this, hang on, I keep hearing this over and over. It's the law of the land. Peter Johnson, you're a lawyer. Yes. Now, the law, don't we overturn bad laws all the time? And isn't there constitutional authority all for Congress? All the time. And the reason we have a government shutdown, and I'm sorry to say it, is because the President of the United States has forced a government shutdown. When a President of the United States, when the uh, head of the, of the United States Senate will not sit down, with Republicans in this country and discuss the defects of one of the biggest pieces of legislation in our history and the impact that it's going to have and say, it's my way or the highway. It's my rule or I'll ruin you. That's wrong. That's un-American. Exactly and that's what we put plunged into. That is into. to say that the Senate leader and the president would not be sitting down. The Senate has tried to compromise 18 times true. on the budget. The not Senate true. has tried to compromise. And then the Republicans are saying, the House Republicans Senate are saying, shut down you won't sit down to Sunday. compromise with us. Keeping the government open is their Wait, job. I won't negotiate. Is is, I won't that is compromise. Their job. Have you ever well, been at a negotiating <clears throat> table where one party comes and says, unless I get this, I'm going to burn the whole thing down. That's what Nobody the Tea said Party burn. folks have that, done. That is hyperbole in the said. extreme. And they are I sit hired. at negotiating tables every day they with legislative hired. branches they and executive branches. This one man government. said, I'm the executive, Earl? I'm Who shuts a tyrant, government? and I don't have any room Sean, to negotiate. Can I ask you that a is the president. Can I ask you a question? No, let's, Who's the party responsible for shutting down? I think it's Barack the, Obama. The party Barack that hates Obama. government. Wait, 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 That's a very clear. Let me tell you. Hang on. Don't one at a time. I'm going to go to Tammy. Tammy. One, at, whoa, 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 one, one at a time. Don't lie to the American people. Because they offered to defund. Then they said, all right, we'll delay. Yeah. Then they said, we'll get rid of all the special yeah. exemptions. And then they said, all right, let's talk about it. And they won't even talk. You know, here's what's fascinating. Everybody's talking about, and they note that, oh, it's the law now. Barack Obama seems to think that it's jello because he has changed this so many times over the last year, exemption after exemption, waiver after waiver, delay after delay, and suddenly it's the law of the land that's written in stone. What Americans, I think, are getting upset with is, I think, even the reflection of this debate, which is that they know already that their, their premiums have gone up. They know that they were lied to. They know it's not what they were told it would be, and it's only going to get worse. If you've been on the exchanges, it's one thing to go on the exchanges. You get that bronze health care plan, you suddenly notice a $5,000 deductible and a 30 percent responsibility for any hospitalization that is and these are the people who didn't have insurance who's got five grand who's got the six grand you'd need for the hospital they're, they're finding out it is not even doable and that's they, how they, care for they have been well, lied well, one to, at a time they have been lied to by the republicans why do i say that because for three years in a row health care costs in this country have gone down that's never happened before and the republicans doug is absolutely right the republicans managed to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory with the majority of people opposed to Obamacare, they could have forced negotiation. The president was. I have willing a question for you, though, Bernard. Let me ask you this. this. But not at the expense of shutting down the government. Let me ask you a question. And by didn't, the way, did, wait, they already took it to didn't the, the Supreme president Court and lost. Wait a second. Didn't the president say that the average family was going to save $2,500 a year? Did he say that? Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. All right. Now, we now have actuary studies that show in 46 states that the premiums for people that were supposed to save $2,500 are going up significantly on average as a $10,000. Obamacare Excuse me, let me finish. Just let me, can begun. I finish my question? On average, a $10,000 swing. So a $10,000 swing. So I want to understand from your point of view, does it matter to you that the president's promise is broken? I think it matters that we ought to let this law take effect. We ought to optimize it. We ought to change it. We ought to improve it. 105 million Americans have already gotten a, a, taken advantage of the law. Tens of millions are getting preventative care. Not answer the cost my question. of prescription I mean, drugs has gone down. Eileen, go ahead. First, health care costs have not have not decreased. The rate of growth has decreased, which is entirely different. Number one, number two, that's largely due to the recession. The the CMS actuary has said that. Mm -hmm. The bulk of Obamacare hasn't taken effect yet, so to attribute slower health care cost growth to that just yeah, is it's untrue. Just like, it's right. just Sean, like saying Sean. the huge increases are, are when it hasn't been implemented or it's fault. Health care was going to go up. Health care was going to go up. It goes up. It's the, cur the, he, the, the, the 
the Obamacare has bent the cost curve down. And that is the first time. Joe, that's if you and I had a difference, and you we don't have any difference. No, we have lots. Never, of never. No, but if we had a difference, wouldn't you and I go in a room and hash it right. out? And you How know does the president happened? get away Here's with saying what he said? The president saying Here's I shouldn't have to offer Here's anything. Here's what's interesting about why, why that. Why wouldn't you? The they Senate talk? passed a budget and the House passed a budget. Go to it conference. Was, it was the Republicans who did not. It was Boehner who did not send conferees for six for. It four, five, really six okay. months. But now the no, that was Ted down. Cruz. And yeah, no, no. So then at 11:55 last night, then and only then right. does Boehner say, was "Okay, maybe we ought to get together." The Senate didn't show no, and let me do one thing else. It's it's kind of out there to 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 vote for repeal 41 times. Let's repeal Obamacare 41 times. Then say, right, "Here's a continuing a resolution that kills Obamacare." But we're not the ones who shut down the government. And we'll be back with our live studio audience in a few minutes. But first, when we come back, Senator Rand Paul joins me from Washington, D.C. to weigh in on the obama reid government shutdown. Later, Democratic Congressman Luis Gutierrez, he'll join us to explain why his colleagues refused to even come to the negotiating table and talk with Republican lawmakers. That and much more as our very quiet, mellow studio audience continues. Straight ahead.